All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but there's a lot that has happened to the car since, such as custom built twin tip exhaust. And if you look in here, I actually have a cutout valve right there. So I can operate it from a switch inside and open this will make it straight pipe. And that one just has a simpler muffler, which you can see back there. Also adding these pins to make the diffuser quick releasable. Um, gone ahead, just done a couple little things inside nothing inside now this is the big change from what you guys are used to seeing but gone ahead out of the supercharger don't worry some of this hosting is temporary <laughs> Took a lot of fabrication work. There's an old M45 kit I bought. The regular crossover pipe does not fit with the uh, Skunk 2 manifold. So I made this one out of some scrap, like old intake piping I had laying around. Same as this piece. I think this one here, it has a weld right here that I made, a weld here, and two welds here, pipe cut, and a weld here. As well as this one here just has a weld towards the end where I cut off a flange. And I put it there. This is how I've routed the hoses so far. Nothing crazy. Filters are big too big, so I have a smaller one coming in tomorrow. I also started the process of building a kind of wall right here to keep the isolate the filter. And I'm using like these uh, L brackets that I made just to hold the wall here. But the filter's gonna be smaller, so it should work. Um, here's a a check valve for the IACV and you can see here I have the actual throttle body back there because take in mind this is a 96 so this is an NA8 but I'm using a VVT swap this is a forge built 1.8 uh, engine from a 2005 Miata that I refreshed and fully built myself and back here we have the the what's it called throttle body from that engine itself with the wiring for it what I had to do is I had to make a custom uh, IACV block off plate for this, just out of a thin sheet of aluminum. And then I routed the throttle cable down here to the bracket and it operates it back there. And that the TPS stays there because that's the actual throttle body now. But over here, this kit's usually meant to be with a uh, dummy throttle body here, which what I did because the only throttle body I have that's dummy is for a NA8. And since I'm using the VVT setup and I want to keep the uh, IACV from the VVT engine, I'm using a, uh, what's it called, VVT throttle body here that I fully gutted and I welded all the holes shut. Um, and then, yeah, you can see there, I tapped the holes where the old mechanisms were and you can see the, the welds that I painted over. But, and then I then went and you can see down there, I 3D printed a plate an extension plate to house the IACV on the bottom and it has piping here and there's a fitting back there it's hard to see but this is what routes it all the way to the cross pipe down there the U pipe and that's pretty much it for that oh the tensioner so I had to get a creative with a belt because the belt that came with my kit was 104 PK 1345 and that didn't really work because um it's meant for the original setup with the NA8 stuff um, and a power steering. And I don't really have the power steering anymore since I have the electric power steering that I also installed, which I have to make a video about. But what I ended up doing is I made a, I used a stock plate here and you can see there, I made a custom tensioner system. So I welded together the little bracket there are some scraps I had laying around and this block similar to the OEM one. And what it does is it allows me to tie in that to bring it closer together and tension the belt. And it's very nicely tensioned and it allows me to have working AC. And you can see just how tight it holds this wheel to prevent slippage. But yeah, guys, just a quick little update. It's been a while. Um, I have more videos I have to make, so just go ahead. And if you have any specific questions, I can go ahead and make it. And yeah, I added a catch can for this setup. I heard of blowing the seals and stuff. So I figured, fuck it, I'll put that there. And so far, so good.